it is 2020. Time to make some more videos. Time to come back to YouTube after my break. Oh, already notification. 2020 is moving fast. New Instagram filter to see what your 2020 is gonna be like. That sounds freaking awesome! Cool! I mean, why would I want to decide what my 2020 is gonna be like? Well, wouldn't I rather just have Instagram tell me so I already know? I don't have to put in any work if it's not gonna be like Instagram, how's it gonna be? Let's see. My 2020 is going to be a wizard? Does that mean I could cast a spell and make every single one of you guys like this video and subscribe and join the D squad? I think that's what Instagram is trying to say. Good morning, guys. Happy New Year. I hope your 2020 is off to an amazing start. I mean, America's not doing so well, but um, we're not going to talk about that. It is the morning. It is bright and early. As you can see, the sun is coming up, and it is time for me to make my first decision that I usually make during the day, and that is my breakfast. But due to the recent obsession people have been having with these Instagram filters, they have literally just exploded all over Instagram. The main one being telling you how your 2020 is going to be like. I even see some of you guys using it every single day. It is all over my stories, all over my feed. Th that is going to cause my day today to be completely different. Because these different filters that tell you how your year is going to go, which Disney character you are, which Harry Potter house you belong to, don't actually affect your life in any way at all. Why don't I make them actually do something and have these filters be true for once? As today progresses, you guys will totally understand what I'm doing. The first decision is breakfast. So I'm going to be pulling up the 2020 filter, which has a bunch of positive options and a bunch of negative options. If I get something positive, like happy, rich, single, because 2020 is all about being happy and being single. Okay, we don't need married. No, that's... I just marry me, please. I have, I'll have. i buy a ring. If I get something positive, I will be getting breakfast from one of the best rated breakfast places in my city. But if I get something negative, I have to... I have to go to Denny's, which I already hate. With the, the Denny's is the type of food that is only passable when you are sh faced, and especially this Denny's because it only has two stars. The reviews about the employees are bad. The reviews about the food are even worse. So if I get something negative with this filter, I have to get that. Okay, I have a bunch of different filters saved to my phone. Here is our first one. We are gonna actually be letting Instagram filters decide everything I do for an entire day. Please just be something positive. Here we go. <sighs> Delusion. Delusionals. I mean, I'm already delusional. That can be positive, right? I know a delusional can be a positive. Here we go. Delusional. De characterized by holding idiosyncrat. But okay, there's a word in there that I don't even know the definition. It's bad. Okay, we're going to Denny's. Maybe I can be a little bit delusional into thinking that this food is actually gonna be good. I'm just gonna. Bring it, come on, let's go! All right, so I made the journey to Denny's. I got here. I got out of my car. I was walking in, and I noticed there was a sign saying "Kids Eat for Free." So you, you know a place is good when they're just throwing the like the only way they can advertise is saying you don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. I made the order and paid for it online. What I ordered was this thing called My Hammy and Cheese Almost. Yeah, man, come up and say, oh, fuck. I don't, who picks these names? My Hammy? That sounds like a nickname someone gives their, you know, like My Hammy. That's My Hammy down there. The order was already paid for, so all I had to do was walk in and actually receive the food. But when I walked in, the employees just seemed to not, nobody wanted to talk to me. There were a couple of employees like gossiping by the food, others just standing around. There were like literally people just straight up avoiding eye contact with me because nobody wanted to deal with me, but I know that feeling. I used to work at McDonald's and whoever looked at a customer first basically had to help them. So like I would, I was always, this was me at McDonald's. Everybody really knew the top of my head really well. Okay, so let's eat our food, which um, came in the biggest damn bag. I ordered one, I ordered one thing. I mean, enough bad reviews about the food. Let's talk about the recycling epidemic. All right, so in the top bag, we have our sourdough toast, which actually looks really good. I could totally see myself eating all of that, but as you guys already know, I'm a sucker for bread. Like I eat straight up just pieces of bread. That's my a meal sometimes for me. Going into 2020, I should probably stop doing that because I'm tired of people asking me, when my baby is due, but we're not gonna worry about that. All right, so now I'm pulling out my hammy. I meant the food, not the other. All right, so this is the My Hammy omelet that we got from the worst rated breakfast place in my city. Let's see, okay, it doesn't, 
The hash browns are a little bit, a little bit crispy for my liking. Presentation isn't awesome, but it's Denny's. I never really expect great presentation. Let's just see how it actually tastes. I'm a ketchup and eggs kind of guy, but I'm just gonna give this a bite on its own to see how it holds with nothing else on it, just the hammy and the cheese. Okay, here we go. Positive vibes going into 2020, here we go. I don't think I've ever had something taste more exactly to how it looked than this omelet right here. I'm not trying to complain, but like the eggs are classic overcooked Denny's eggs. It is soggy on the bottom. I mean, look at, like, take a look at the picture. This is the picture. You know what that tastes like from looking at it. I doubt, like, I doubt that my hammy tastes really good, but it definitely tastes better than this. Like, I've never really been a fan of these stringy hash browns that places like Denny's and IHOP have. I, it kind of feels like I'm eating hair, which... I don't like doing that very often. Maybe 2020, I'm a new person. Maybe it'll be different. Damn, I am actually pleasantly surprised with how these hash browns turned out. I mean, I thought they looked burnt. Like whoever made the hash browns need to give some notes to the guy who made the omelet. The hash browns were like perfectly crispy. They were like half a millisecond from being too crispy, but they were so crunchy, so delicious. And the omelet felt more like soggy. Like I was eating a, the diaper, like a kid. I was eating a kid's diaper who just had like 20 craft single slices. All right, so now that our breakfast is almost complete. All I have left is this last piece of toast. I am gonna need a coffee, but of course I can't just make that decision. I have to let an Instagram filter decide it. How the coffee is gonna be decided is with the Flappy Bird filter. If I can get a score of 25 on this filter, I get a coffee, and if I don't, I just have to drink water. <sighs> Here we go. 25, okay. I've never played this before, but we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, got the head. It doesn't say the score, but it's okay. Oh my gosh, okay, sit. Four, but we're gonna, we're gonna six is, six is not what I wanted. Okay, you gotta get practice in to make it great. Or right, that's not the saying, but we're gonna go with that for now. Four! How do I get any lower? What do you want me to suck on my freaking hammy? We need to get 25, haven't gotten anything past six. This is awesome, here we go, okay. Confidence, confidence is key. Don't be delusional like the app filter told you you were gonna be. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh god. Okay. This is fine. We're getting. Oh my god. This is so easy. I don't have to. Uh, 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 okay. It's fine. We're fine. We're actually fine here. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Twenty-seven, baby. That is a coffee. We are heading home. I get my. Okay. Maybe this video is not going to be as bad as I thought. Yes. Um. Wow. Um. Wow. Um, my love. So I am back home with my coffee after our breakfast and I thought, you know, Starbucks, they, they aren't really sponsoring me, they don't pay me anything, I just give them free promotion all the time, so instead, why not give some promotion to other people who need it? For this video, I just went to my Instagram and found the person who followed me most recently, which was at Ivy underscore Havis or Havis, who only has one picture and it's of a baby Yoda, but you know, Thank you for the support. You are sponsoring Derek's Buy Coffee for this. I don't. I'm running out of ideas. And also, if you guys want to try out any of the filters that I use in this video, go over to my Instagram at Derek underscore Gerard and look at my story because when this video comes out, I'm going to have all of them on my story for you guys to try. So our next thing that we have to decide is what little activity we are going to do because it is after breakfast, before lunch, and I always like to get something done during this time of the day. Usually what I like to do during this time is, you know, like clean my apartment. Maybe I'll take my little dog Hercules for a walk because when I don't take him for a walk, I end up <laughs> having to call the a brick to come and fix my couch and I have to tell them that I you know ripped it by accident when in reality my dog destroyed he destroyed my three thousand dollar couch and all he can say for it is licking my mouth and no of course I didn't pay three thousand dollars for a couch I mean, I am half East Indian, so you know I got it on sale. The filter we're gonna be using to decide our activity is the Harry Potter filter. And what this does is you hold down the button and it will give you your house. Um, spoiler alert, I've only watched one Harry Potter movie. This is Ravenclaw. There is, that dog is still damn ripping up the, hey, stop, now. That's not something a Ravenclaw would do, okay? That's Slytherin. So if I get Gryffindor, we're gonna be going to the gym. If I get the Hufflepuff house, I'm gonna be taking my dog Hercules for a walk. If I get Ravenclaw, I'm gonna be learning a new skill. And one of my New Year's resolutions is to actually learn sign language. So I really hope I get that one. And if I get Slytherin, I have um, a Bang Energy drink in my fridge. If you guys have never heard of Bang Energy, you probably don't use social media because it is just being shut down.
So I have the Instagram filter up right here. Let's see which activity we're gonna be doing today based on which Harry Potter house that Instagram says we are. Here we go. Let's get a Ivy in there. Slither, Slytherin! Come on, I'm not evil, it's Slytherin. The, I feel like Slytherin's the evil one. All right, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me. This video is not sponsored by Bang Energy. I know a million other YouTubers and Instagrammers and models apparently all love drinking Bang Energy. All right, so the flavor that I got is called Blue Raz Bang Energy. Um, let's read the label here. All right, so right here on the top under the Alimente Voce, well, yep. Love drinking that, whatever that is. Do not consume more than one can daily and not intended for individuals under the age of 18 or intended for pregnant women, breastfeeding women, people who are sensitive to basically don't drink this is what they're trying to say. Let's give this an open right here. Bang energy. This is the blue Raz flavor. Cheers guys. Happy 2020. So before I describe what I'm tasting to you guys, let's see what color it is. It is blue Raz flavor. So I'm expecting, okay. Um, no blue color, it is clear. I used to think that Sprite and 7-Up were more healthy than Coke because they were clear. And I don't know if that's what Bang Energy is trying to do, but this looks like, it looks like soda water. It basically tastes like a freezy, like I don't know if you guys grew up having freezies like for dessert or as like a summer snack, but it tastes like a blue raspberry freezy that you forgot to freeze or that you left on the counter for too long and it just turned into the blue syrup. <laughs> That's what this is. This looks like, people are gonna think I'm faking this with water. This is the Bang Energy. This is what it looks like and I have to drink the entire can based on being put into the Slytherin house by the Instagram filter. There's nothing else I would like to put in my body halfway through the day, like some carbonated water, some isolacillian, some valvine, some potassium sorbate, sodium citrate, sucralose, acylfame potassium, potassium phosphate dibasic sodium benzenate, magnesium chloride. This sounds like the ingredients of a damn public swimming pool. I'm not even making some sort of dumb joke just for this video when I say I genuinely do not know how to burp. I have so much gas built up inside me right now and I just want to let it out. But I... <laughs> Comment down below right now how to burp. I don't even know how you would even... And the filter we're going to be using to decide our lunch is going to be the Pokemon filter. Whatever Pokemon I get, whatever type it is, we're going to figure out a food to eat based on that Pokemon. Okay, here we go. So for lunch, a Pokemon is going... Oh, that bang energy is not sitting well. Okay, so I'm, okay, we're ready to pick what we're having for lunch. Here we go, which Pokemon am I? What is the Instagram filter going to decide? It is going to be picking... Eero. Bird, the bird. So what do I, so what do I eat? <laughs> is this, is this a Fero where am I? I... Uh, this is definitely a bird. I don't know if it's a Fero, but, um, thank God I didn't get Pidgey. Otherwise, I'd feel a lot worse about this. Well, I guess because we picked a Pokemon, we ended up where you would find Pokemon, and that is in, like, the tall grass. I don't know if Fero is the thing you can get from your local supermarket, but if it is, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Whatever bird this is was freshly cooked. When I was growing up, my dream was to have Pokemon be, like, a real thing and be able to go outside and actually catch Pokemon, but, of course, the closest thing to that was Pokemon Go. And I don't know about you guys, but I wasn't obsessed with Pokemon Go. My friends were freaking just insanely obsessed. We would literally be driving somewhere and they'd be like, pull over, pull over, and I'd be like, why? And they'd be like, there's a ch Charizard. I wonder what would have happened if I got a Squirtle or like a Charmander, or what if I would have gotten a... Herc? Is Herc still... He didn't... Herc, where are you? What I think I'm gonna do after this is go shopping because Christmas was just like a week ago and I haven't even gotten to spend my Christmas money yet. And whether you celebrate Christmas, Hanukkah, or anything in between, let me know in the comment section what you guys got as presents. 
I, I, Ivy is still what, I don't know how this coffee got here. I'm not gonna question it. I don't have a favorite gift that I've ever gotten because I'm the type of person that no matter what you get me, I will pretend to like it because it's not the gift that matters. It's the idea that someone just thought of you. Someone thought of you enough to get you something and you should just be thankful no matter what it is. Like one year, my uncle got me a sports bra. I don't know what caused him to get that for me, but he thought of me, probably thought my milk cannons were a this is a very uncomfortable place to shoot a video. It's right next to a school and there's like a big group of teenagers over there and nothing scares me more than big groups of teenagers. Like I can handle a big group of children because children are just like oblivious to what's going on. They'll tell you how exactly how they feel and it's not them being mean, it's just, just them being genuinely curious. Now teenagers on the other hand, they will point, they will laugh, they will take videos simply just to make you feel uncomfortable. I, you know what? Stop looking at me, that's what- Why are you filming me? What, you want me to dance? Am I, oh, am I a monkey? So I think, you know, I've eaten as much Firo as I can. I'm gonna let these kids have their fun and I'm gonna go off to the mall and take my camera with me because I'm done filming here and I am going to spend my Christmas money. Yeah, I'm leaving. Thanks a lot, guys. You bullied me out of here. <laughs> this was like high school. So we have voiceover Derek. Now let's bring in transition Derek to switch it over to the mall. Yes, thank you so much. So. I headed over to the mall with the six second blink filter on my face from Instagram and that was gonna decide what we got. How this filter works is you put it onto your face and you have to blink exactly at six seconds. And I think this time I got 6.3, but I could only buy the products that I wanted if I got it at a 0 0.0 decimal. So I did not get the Pokemon sweater. So I moved on to something smaller, this little Oreo dairy milk chocolate. And I was prepared to get six. I kind of forgot how it started. And then I also just blinked, ran, I totally forgot what I was doing. It's okay, on to the next product. That's completely fine. Next, I headed over to the book store and found this book, You Are Awesome, because I needed some motivation. I had just failed two products in a row. I needed to get 6.0 something. That is all I needed to get this product. 6.1. <laughs> I am not awesome. I am not awesome. Okay, maybe we need to go for something a little bit more pricey. Air Force Ones, a shoe that I do not have, that I have always wanted, and I blinked early. Okay, let's move on to these $1,300 designer shoes. We're going for six seconds. We are gonna buy these shoes. I want them so badly. If you thought I was gonna blink, you really don't. There's no way I'm paying for those. Next up, I saw a copy of FIFA 20, the newest FIFA game, and I, 6.1. Again, we're close, but we, okay, we're just gonna go all out. The new iPhone, the iPhone 11 Pro Plus. We are gonna get it, but it sucks because the Apple Store is super busy and somebody bumped into, bumped into me and I, damn it, I didn't get anything at all. But, I actually did manage to get a couple of things using the Instagram filter counting down to six seconds So I'm gonna show you guys that stuff now early on in my adventure to the mall I went to a store called Bath and Body Works and they were having a 5 for 25 sale on hand soaps Which is something I actually needed and when I pulled up the app and blinked when I did I managed to get it close enough to six seconds where I could actually buy something the very first thing that I got So I got my five hand soaps here with scents like uh, island papaya. We have warm vanilla vanilla sugar and white tea and say what white tea Ooh. What's wrong with black tea, huh? Before we went to the mall, I promised myself that I would attempt to get 10 products using the six second Instagram filter. And after the failing the ninth one, after failing eight out of nine products, I was completely fed up. I walked into a random store and as I was looking around in that store, I saw this like Mickey Mouse cookie jar chef thing. I just looked at any random product. I was fed up completely with this challenge. I was just ready to go home and lo and behold, I land a 6.039, which means I have to buy the product, the dumb Mickey Mouse weird looking jar, and the thing about this jar is that, um, it, I almost just dropped it, which would have sucked because it was a hundred dollars! You guys can see the price tag right there, $99.99, so I am stuck with this freaky looking Mickey Mouse cookie jar uh, to open it up. Ah! Yeah, you, you decapitate Mickey. Get ready to see this in the back of a lot of my videos because I am getting my hundred dollars worth. And Mickey, don't count on being around for too long because when I get mad, I like to break stuff and there's nothing more I would like to break than this. Oh boy. 
going. So it is now time for the very last filter we're gonna be using, and this was, I believe, the filter that started it all, and that was the which Disney character are you? And this filter has a lot of different options, so what I am going to do is I am going to be looking for either a hero or a villain. If I get any hero or princess from a Disney movie, my mom is going to be deciding what I have for dinner because she is a hero to me. She is my princess. She, I just love her so much. And if I get a villain, Jazz Paul is going to be deciding what I get for dinner. I know a lot of you guys think he's the hero. All right, the very last one for today. What are we gonna get, hero or villain? Whew, here we go. Who gets to decide what I eat for dinner? Mulan, hero! Yes, that's my mommy, yes, yes, yes! Oh, yes, okay. We are FaceTime on my mom. Let's see what I get to eat, yes! Hi, sweetie. Hi, mom, what's up? Did I call you or did you call me? I called you, <laughs> what? So, I'm just filming right now. You get to decide what I eat for dinner. Oh, what you have for dinner? Yeah, I did uh, a random Disney character generator, and if I got a villain, it was Jazz Paul, and if I got a hero, I got you, because you're my hero. Aww, can I make it something that you really like? What do you feel like eating tonight? Um, does it, you just get to pick whatever you want. It can be something uh, I like. Um, you can have sushi tonight. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Mom. Love you, Daryl. Love you, too. I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Frank, I get sushi! I get sushi! You don't, but I do! You don't, but I do! Yes! Mwah, I love you! Hey, Mickey! I love You're okay today, bud. Mwah. I'm gonna take your head with me, though. See ya, bud. Oh, what a glorious end to a video. I remember the last time that I felt so good about leaving my, yeah, my phone. Why was my phone on the table if I was just coming in? Because it, I, I wasn't actually just... Mickey, I'm sorry I left your head at the sushi restaurant. Right here we have our dessert, our caramel cone explosion haagen ice cream. We have my favorite drink, which is Canada Dry Ginger Ale. And we have our sushi to end off this video. Let's dig in and eat dinner. So if you guys take a look here, we have our cucumber roll, our avocado cucumber roll, and our tempura roll right there. I don't know if a lot of you guys eat sushi. Where I live in Vancouver, sushi is incredibly popular because there's a very big Asian population. So there's a lot of people who like sushi and there's a lot of people who know how to make a damn good sushi roll and also know how to make spicy hagadashi tofu. Was that? That was racist. Probably gonna cut that out. Which is a fried piece of tofu with a nice spicy sauce on, oh. I'm so excited for this. You can't forget soy sauce. I think one of the saddest things possible is to order sushi and go to like eat it in your car or something and they forgot the soy sauce. I've asked you guys a lot of questions about food, but I don't know if I've ever asked, what is your like perfect dinner? Let me know the like entire meal, the drink and the dessert in the comments down below. Mine would definitely be either this exact meal right here or A&W, the Beyond Burger with fries, a side of honey mustard, a side of sweet and sour sauce. Oh, but this, this, this I'm having like a food wet dream right now. I need to I need to control myself before something bad happens like last time. Let's just say that uh, last time my hammy got a little bit out of control. Let's open up our Canada Dry. Now, I don't know if Canada, this might be the dumbest thing I've ever said, but is Canada Dry like a Canadian only thing? But I can totally see them selling this in America and calling it Canada Dry. Or would it be American Dry? I'm gonna set the sushi aside for a second. This ice cream is calling my name. I need to have some of it before this video is over. Oh, and it's the perfect consistency right now. Oh! Do you see what's going on in there? It doesn't mean you don't get to try. I do, I love it. Mm. Little caramel clusters, and there's also little pieces of waffle cone coated in chocolate. Do you realize, wh why are you still watching this video? Why are you not on your way to get some of this? I would just like to thank you guys so much for watching it and making it to the end of this video. Whether you started watching my videos in 2020, 2019, or all the way back in like 2011, I appreciate you so much. This is my dream. I cannot tell you guys enough how much it genuinely means to me that you come back for every video and you let me do what I love to do every single day. I will see you all in my next video and for the rest of 2020. This is gonna be the D Squad's gear. Always remember the motto of do good, die great, and I will see you all very soon. All right, see ya. Bye!